Peace. This is Supreme Intelligence. This is a new video, and this is a random one. Boom. All I got to say is, what a day, what a day. Um, What I like to speak on is about relationships. It's not... No relationship is easy, neither with your loved one, your family, friends, or whatever. You're going to have disagreements. You're going to see things differently in every type of way. It's never going to be all on point. What I would like to say is people, because I've seen this a lot, like a lot of people, when they get into something, they used to having things a certain way. And it's like us men, we are very, you know, like myself, I'm a private person. Like we all private in every in all type of ways. But what I wanna speak on is um I seen a lot of things in my lifetime. I even been told a lot of things in my lifetime, but I'm the type of person that, and I'm not gonna lie, I need a lot of work, and um, I'm not perfect in any way. And what I'm saying is, um, if you have somebody in your life that's that person's important to you, and that person never gives up to you and thinks the world or you every type of way. And one thing I hate about a lot of relationships that I see, and I've seen this today, I've seen this like this whole week. Like I've been saying, since this COVID thing came, it's been a lot of breakups, a lot of, and it's something real small that you can talk about. A lot of people, when they get into fights with their, with their, well, I say spouse and the person they're with, or even if y'all just talking, the first thing that comes out of their mind when they get really angry is, oh, I'm done. That's it. We can just be cool or whatever. That's not, you as two people, y'all are supposed to grow. How are y'all gonna do that? Like I say, you can always talk about anything. Everything needs a conversation. Everything needs a talk out. Everything needs everything. So what I wanna say is, um, even if you don't get your way a certain way, just, it has to be someone that's calm. You may not, you may think that somebody's being a certain way towards you or you may even think a person's hiding something for you or just like I got three boys you know like today I felt my son wasn't to be honest be it wasn't being honest with me with something and you know he started getting frustrated and I was like yo just be honest with me and you know, the certain situation that was in hand, he told me the truth. He was like, Dad, I didn't know how to tell you the truth. Like I explained in my um last video that it's not like us men are hiding something. It's just, we just feel, especially me, I never gave out like password to Facebook, email, or none of that. I never experienced that. So I feel like this. If to, to have confusion, if you don't feel, I'm not saying you should, you know, and I'm not saying you, you should or you shouldn't. I'm just saying that it's like, in relationship, the lady, the, the woman's important, and so is the man. But do things to make that person more understanding about things, you know. And when you don't have that understanding of things, you know, it causes 
a lot of confusion. It causes a lot of problems in a lot of ways. So I just want to say, just if there's a if if it's a little fight, you know, because some women, you know, when they feel you're hiding something, they are automatically mad in that in some type of way. Us men, sometimes we're just calm because we see things differently. Like my, I'm gonna set an example. Me, um, in my past relationships, I ain't. We didn't never um, say, yeah, let me have have your passcode or let me see your password or your email. The thing we always did in my past when he says, like, yeah, when we get together, like, sometimes be scrolling down each other's timeline and stuff. And, you know, that's a part of growth is like when you're um, and the thing is, I never used to do that until like I can say the last two girls I dated I used to do that it's about trust it's like when I say something and tell you something you know what I'm saying I trust you that you believe that's what I'm doing and it goes vice versa but at the same time it's like I'm, I'm like this. If there's an argument, we and you having an argument or disagreement in a certain way, it's a good thing about talk. It's not like I'm not calling you to argue. I'm not calling you for anything like that. I'm calling to to dis diffuse the 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 situation, so you can understand what I'm coming at, and you can understand. You can understand what I'm coming in and, and the same thing with yourself. So what I'd like to say is if it's some type of disagreement or some type of way, always find a way or a solution for something to a solution is a solution for everything. And it's when you get a solution for something and I say like this, <clears throat> you've been together for a long time you know there's certain things that you probably think about like yo is he hiding something is that's why he's not giving me <coughs> certain <coughs> excuse me certain things no not like we hiding nothing it's like certain men we like privacy it's not like we're hiding something from you we're just that way. We just used to, you know, doing things for ourselves. Uh, like me, I'm very independent. And especially I work in IT, you know, it's like certain things on Facebook I don't know about or some things on um, Twitter I don't know how to do, you know. So I, I ask this person and stuff. But <clears throat> I never even gave, like, I got cousins that know what I got, ins and outs of Facebook, this and that, da, 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 that and that. But I never, they ask, yo, let, let me get your own um, pass, um, passwords. I could change so I can do do this for you. And I, I just be like, no, and that's on family. It's not like I don't trust them or anything. It's just, that's just how I am. But I, and I say it like this, if a man's going to give you his information, well, you got to give him your information too, no matter what it is. Some women will, and some women like, well, I heard a situation to, today, like, it was a post, well, I don't care what it is, I'm never giving out my shit. So at first I was like, damn, what's she doing that for? She hiding something? That's what I used to think. But now I'm like, you know what I mean? People have their reasons. It doesn't mean that <clears throat> the person doesn't love you or anything. It's just, I say it like this, besides getting upset, just ask 
why he didn't want to do that or whatever. Me the type of person I am, I'm like, you know what I mean? I'm not saying I, I won't give it to you at one point, which I see it like this. If I'm, if we're on the path and let's say I ask, let's just say I ask somebody to marry me, boom. And we're married, we <clears throat> on that way, planning the wedding and this and this and how are we going to do this and this? I'm going to ask this. I was like, jokingly, I'll probably be like, yeah, let me... Let me get your pass password to your email, this and this. You know what I mean? And some people will probably get, but I don't care. But a real person be like, here, I don't care. <clears throat> me, myself, how I feel now, you know what I'm saying? I'll give up the information. Like, which, what you want? Email? And I'm telling people this, and... You know, a lot of people that know me know I have a lot of emails. And the reason for that is my kids play video games and you can't just have one email address. You got to have like multiple, multiple um, email addresses for that. You just can't have just one, you know, and that's, that's just how it is. But I just say that just talk things out don't get upset you know what i'm saying just wait till you calm down give it a couple hours but don't give it like days and stuff like that you know what i'm saying that's gonna cause a lot of it's gonna cause a lot of problems and y'all gonna have more of a problem just i just say just talk it out you know don't especially if this person if you it's like us men when we dating somebody we look at our woman as the most beautiful thing in the world like like i said before i i ain't gonna lie i dated a lot of ugly girls but it wasn't because there was the physical part i always looked at when i started growing up mentally i started looking at the inside of the person like i asked this um i was dating this girl like years ago like right after you know what i'm saying i got divorced and i was like um i started asking her questions about myself that she should know and it's like she couldn't answer none of that so i asked her um why are you sitting here with me for she's like because you're you're cute i'm like wow that's it so I'm sitting here with you because I'm cute, not because, and I ask a name, I have to ask her, like, name five qualities of, of me that you like. She couldn't do that. If a woman can't name that, even a man, some men are like, you know, they got to get the baddest chick, not me. I was never like that. Like, me and my friends used to joke. Like when um, Destiny Child came out, like I always liked the girl that they never paid attention with. Like they had so many members through the years, but I, I never was a type that liked Beyonce and I didn't like Michelle. I always liked, like now, the one I always liked is, um, I always liked um, Michelle. Like in TLC, I always liked, um, left eye not because she was crazy because just that was like the one i always liked i mean everybody you know everybody liked t boss because of her hair and chili because she she was she had the long hair and stuff like that but that's that was never me how i'm more like i fall in love with the person I always fall in love with, I always fall fall in love with the brain first. You know what I mean? You you can try to get me with your looks and stuff, like send me pictures and stuff like that. That's cool and all, but you gotta give me more. Like I need someone that that can give me like get me mentally. You know, teach me things. Put me like I said before. Put me on to a book or a movie or something spiritual that you're into that would you know what I'm saying that would attract 
I'm saying a real man and stuff. So, that being said, I gotta say, well, people in relationships just talk it out some type of way after you both calm down. And one thing, don't don't stop saying things that's gonna hurt the other person. You know, we're mad, we know, but just don't say things that's gonna hurt someone's feelings because us men hurt, like me. When my feelings is hurt, I have no sleep, I barely eat, and I just try to find something to keep me busy. Sometimes I, you can't do that, especially at when you working. You know what I'm saying? That's that's hard and and i say it like this like if you have somebody that you know has been down there for you you know and you know deep down that that person cares for you and loves the hell out of you and thinks of even if you're not you know what i'm saying content with yourself and think that you're the most beautiful thing if that person thinks no matter what you what happens in your life that that person will always love you that someone that you keep that 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 you should keep and the thing about these days is like you'll see a video on facebook or even a video especially them youtubers i've seen a lot of youtube people say oh that's on youtube you know what i'm saying i said i'll I should add that to my relationship. Like, I had to unsubscribe to this guy on YouTube because a lot of people I know, he, they was listening to him and they broken up because they, the one of them was listening to them, to that person. That is, that's like the worst thing you can do. These people on YouTube, most of them are making money. You know what I'm saying? Um... And a lot of them have broke, broken, broke relationships. So don't, don't, don't get it twisted. They probably have a fucked up marriage and they're trying to fuck you over too. So just have a good mind, a state of mind and a good everything. And like I said, talk it out. Don't, you know what I'm saying? Hurt somebody. You know what I'm saying? Just because you don't, you can't get your way or you don't understand what the person is really saying. Like, the thing about when we get mad, we get so mad, the person could be saying something that makes a lot of sense, but we just thinking about what we want to say. So just relax, calm down, and talk to the person. Always talk. Like, that's one thing I can say that my mom, um, like, like, like I told y'all, my real daddy and my mom was married for like 17 years before he he passed when I was like real little. So when my mom was with my stepfather, you know, they was married for a long time. They've been through hell, you know. They, they presently are they together? No, things happen. But my stepfather said, this is something that we should have talked about a long time ago, you know. And sometimes when you want to talk about it, it's always one stubborn one that doesn't want to talk. But when it's it's crazy because when the stubborn one talks, after y'all both calm down, we like this is what we we should have talked about a long time ago. We could have been where we supposed to be, you know. So this is supreme intelligence. This is a video and peace.